Such an intricate melody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Burke. I'm a singer, songwriter, and vocal coach. And real quick before we get into this, if you enjoy this video, click thumbs up if you don't mind. If you're new to the family, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And then finally, if you want to improve your voice, this channel is all about improving your voice, improving your singing. Make sure to check out the free lesson on Singer. It's my singing training program. The link is down in the description. It's a 15 minute lesson. You're gonna record your voice before, go through the lesson, record your voice after, and you will hear an improvement. I don't care if you think you are completely tone deaf because let me tell you, I used to be tone deaf. Now I'm a professional singer. If I can do it, you can. So I'm instructing the lesson. It would mean the world if you would check that out. And I really want you to to have the gift of singing. I know that sounds so corny, but I, it's true. Singing can change your life, and I want that for you. So anyway, before I get too passionate, let's get into this reaction. So this is Unvillage. You requested this so many times. K-pop fans are the most loyal. It's amazing. Okay, so I have to ask a question really quickly. Let me know. Is this lip synced? Because to me, from what I can tell, it looks lip synced. He moved away from the mic. I heard his backing vocals. But I know this is EXO and EXO. Those guys are so talented. So there is no reason for them to lip sync because they are so good. So I'm asking you, I want to know, is this or is this not? Because the pitch sounds incredible. But then again, if it's a backing track, that kind of takes away from it a little bit. You know, I actually changed my mind because there were a few places where it was a tiny bit off pitch as anybody would be when you're performing live in that kind of audience. And I, it, it was actually the reverb, the slap back reverb of being in that big um, arena that, that I was thinking like, wait, is that off from his lips? Um, but no, I, he is singing this live. I love that. Such an intricate melody. He nailed that going from the head voice down into that chest belt. That sounded really good. Ah. Uh, okay, I love the slide into the notes and then the vibrato on the end, straight tone to vibrato. I'm getting total Sinatra vibes from this. And I have to say that this is probably one of my favorite songs of K-pop. I love this vibe. It's kind of R&B, but it's um, got like a crooner vibe to it as well. I really like it. And he's got the perfect voice for it. And then having that vibrato on the end. Love it. Okay, so look at this stage presence too. It's interesting because this is the first um, K-pop reaction that I've re that I've reacted to. Wait, this is the first K-pop video that I've reacted to where it's just he's it's just him with a mic stand and there's no dancing going on there's nothing crazy going on but notice how he's still owning the performance he still has the planned different little i don't know what he did there but the different little things he would do with his hand like like it was still planned out now i think many times people think oh it's just natural for these performers it's just natural no 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 let me tell you like he has to practice so many times i've had to practice thousands of times performing until it looks natural, until it comes across as natural, right? It's like that 10 year overnight success. He's, he's had to practice so many times of, of probably looking in the mirror of his mic, the way that he's holding the mic, right? The little things he does with, the, with his hands when he bends over with the mic on different notes. He's practiced that so many times, so then when he's performing, 
it just looks like he's totally just a natural. So I'm super confused. Is this lip synced? Is it not lip synced? Leave me a comment. I get it. People have backtracks and I get it that it might be part of the stylistic aesthetic or whatever you would call it of having his own backing vocals coming in the track to back him up. But it almost sounds the same as his lead. So I'm, I'm curious. It's hard to tell. I don't want to make a claim. I love that. I love that little staccato descending melody on the chorus. That is a really cool, really cool chorus. And I love the little synth. It's almost like a pluck, like that pluck um, string. It's almost like a pluck string synth in the background. The whole instrumentation with the melody that he chose sounds really, really good. Just as like from a song perspective. Oh, this is so epic. Oh, shoot. Hello. Okay, so, okay, so that note there was just a tiny bit flat, which I'm actually excited to hear that that was a little bit flat because this whole time I'm like, is he lip syncing? Is he not lip syncing? So unless they have a track in there of live vocals with a little bit of a flat <laughs> vocal or a flat note rather, um, I think that he is singing this live, which makes the whole thing incredibly impressive. I'm feeling this song though. Hey, I'd listen to this. Like some of these songs, I'm like reacting to them because the vocals are amazing, but I wouldn't really like listen to them. I'd listen to this. Like I would so listen to this. This is a really good song. Now again on the end there, I gotta say it looked like he was lip syncing. So I go back and forth. What is going on? I can't make up my mind. I get that sometimes with the reverb slap back, this isn't the best video to be able to see, but leave me a comment down below. Cause I know, look regardless, EXO, those guys are amazing doesn't take away from his vocal ability. It just means that he decided on, I guess, this live show. Maybe he didn't want to, I don't know. It just he decided that he was going to use a backtrack. Curious, leave me a comment because that, that makes a difference for me. I do think that more vocalists that have chops like him should not use backtracks. Dang, look at that. Yeah, no, I was going to say, I mean, that was awesome, but I, I think that vocalists that have his chops where he's, he can really sang, sang, you know what I'm saying? No, but vocalists that are, that are very good, I think when they use a backtrack, people tend to put them in a category that aren't a trained singer. Um, they'll put them in a category of, you use backtrack, you know, and then it like takes away from the talent when a trained singer would be able to hear, no, 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 he's... He can really sing, like backtrack or not, he can sing. He just, I guess, decided to use backtrack. But anyway, I mean, by backtrack, I mean having a lead vocal hot in the mix. Um, a lot of people use backtracks and it's okay to use backtracks. It's just like lip syncing. I think sometimes that can get a little bit too far. If you're good at singing, if you're not good at singing, I guess whatever, do what you gotta do. But when you can really sing, sing, like anybody in EXO, they, they, all those guys can sing then you don't really need a backtrack. But anyway, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I think that that was honestly one of my favorite 
K-pop songs. I love the whole, just the whole song. The whole thing was was great. And that performance, tons of swagger. I love it. I love the Sinatra vibe. So I'm a fan of this performance. What do you think? If you're new to the family, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And then finally, if you want to improve your singing, make sure to sign up for the free lesson on Singer. It's my singing training program. It's a 15-minute lesson. I know you're so busy, but whenever you have 15 minutes, click the link down below. Go to singer.tv, S-I-N-G-R. Dot TV. I have it up here somewhere like the whole time. So whenever you guys think about it, you can go to it. But I'm instructing the lesson. I really want you to check it out because I really believe that it's going to improve your voice and get you excited about improving your voice. And give me one second because my camera shuts off. Okay, we're about to shut off. Okay, I'll, I'll end this quick. I'm, I was about to go on a passionate rant, but you'll see the passionate rant in the next video. Anyway, if you want to improve your singing, you got to get on Singer. If you have friends or family who want to improve their singing, you have to get them on Singer. It is the best way to improve your voice, the most affordable option, the best option, the most effective, efficient option. I'm telling you, you got to get on Singer. You'll have lifetime access. It's going to take you through every step, whether you're a beginner like me when I was first starting, I was tone deaf, or maybe you're advanced. We have beginners to professional singers on Singer, and whether they're going in at a beginner session, an intermediate session, or an expert lesson, they're finding value from it. So you definitely have to check it out if you haven't. Link in the description. All right, tons of love. I'll see you tomorrow.